Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this travel vlog. If you don't know me, I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands, and today I am flying back home to Finland. It's been a year since I visited my family and friends in Finland, so I thought it is time to go now. Today I will be flying there alone, but my boyfriend will be joining me a bit later. I am flying there today, which is a Saturday, and then next week, Thursday, my boyfriend will also be joining me to Finland. But yeah, my flight leaves tonight at 8.30 p.m. and I still haven't packed at all. So the plan now is to get a move on, start packing. I am flying today with KLM and I chose to only take hand luggage this time. Luckily, KLM has quite a generous amount that they allow you to take as hand luggage. You're allowed to take one accessory bag. So I will be bringing a backpack and then you're also allowed to bring a hand luggage bag up to 12 kilos, which I think is quite a lot for like free hand luggage. But yeah, it is time to get a move on if I wanna be able to make my flight. Luckily there is still quite many hours before I need to leave, but still I need to start packing and get myself ready. Yeah, first things first, we need to go and get my suitcase, which is downstairs in our garage. Let's go. I have now tried to take out everything that I wanna pack. Um, I don't know, <laughs> maybe this all won't fit in my little bag. It will be too heavy or something. Um, <laughs> Fingers crossed that it will. Here is what I wish I can bring with me. Let's see what the reality is like. <laughs> I bought actually some Dutch food souvenirs to bring with me. And I want to show you guys what I am bringing. For two of my friends that I'm meeting tomorrow on Sunday, we're going to have a brunch. And they visited me here during the autumn time. And they both fell in love with this cookie spread. Uh, this is, yeah, if you've never tried it, it's the Lotus Biscoff cookie spread. I don't think it's Dutch. I think it's maybe Belgian, actually. But this is food from the heavens. This on top of waffles or bread or almost just as a spoonful of itself, to be honest, is so damn good. You should really, really try it if you haven't already. <laughs> Most of the time I'm gonna be staying at my mom's place. So I have bought her some stuff. I have bought her some Dutch chocolate in the caramel sea salt flavor. And then I have bought her some caramel stroke waffles. I have also bought my mom this salmiaki bag or as we say here in Netherlands, drop. It is basically salted licorice. It is a very popular candy in Finland and also here in the Netherlands. And the ones they have here are a bit different from the ones we have in Finland. And my mom really loves them. So I'm bringing her a bag of these. And then I am also bringing her some Dutch mustard. And then I'm also going to be spending a night at my grandparents. And for them, I'm also bringing the same mustard. This one's from Limburg. For them, I'm also bringing some Dutch chocolate, the regular milk chocolate one. And for my grandparents, I also bought some straw waffles. These ones are the Roomboter flavor, which is like butter, basically. Gotta bring some Dutch snacks with me, of course. These are quite heavy to bring with me, but luckily I only need to bring them one way. So if I wanna buy some Finnish food for myself on my way back, I can then change this to that instead. Because I'm only bringing a hand luggage, I have a limited amount of stuff I can bring, obviously. So in order to make the most out of the clothes I brought, I've tried to bring clothes that I can mix with each other. So what I've done is that I've chosen the tops and the bottoms that I'm gonna bring in a way that they all kind of fit with each other. So this way I can easily mix and match Something very handy that I got a while ago are these small, tiny, reusable bottles. Um, I have more than just these three, but these three are now the ones I am taking with me. So in here I can easily uh, take some skincare and yeah, liquid products that are in two big packages. So in here I have my toner, in here I have a moisturizer. And in here I have a perfume. I got these as a gift, but I believe they were bought from a shop called Tiger. And I know that shop is available at least in most European countries. And if not, I'm sure you could find something similar on Amazon, for example. Big recommendation for these little bottles. 
I want to show you guys something really handy that I received as a gift a while ago, meant for use when traveling. So this is like this pouch where you can easily store things. So what I'm going to put in here is a jewelry box. I am putting this bag where I have basically all my makeup and sanitary products, skincare, that kind of stuff. I have a bag of makeup wipes. So once you've got everything in your bag, you have these things here on the side. Tighten them closed like this and now it's quite closed and then there's also a flap here and you tie it like this and then you can still tie this on top of here voila now i have basically all my beauty products jewelry makeup yeah all those kind of things in one neat bag so it stays much more organized I find that it's very handy and also because once you're using it so what you could do is once you open it again, then it opens up really nicely like this. So anything that you need from the bag, you can just take it and put it back. It's, yeah, if you need to do your makeup, you just bring it with you, put it down, and then you have everything you need in here, nice and neatly in order. <sighs> Okay, by some miracle, I was able to shut my suitcase. It is very full though. As my accessories bag, I am bringing this backpack that I bought from a secondhand shop. I'm trying to be more organized these days and yeah, to pack in a way that is organized. First things first is my laptop. I actually recently bought myself a new laptop. I got this laptop about a month ago because I really, really, really needed a new laptop. My old laptop I bought back when I was a student and back then I didn't have very much money. So I pretty much just bought any laptop I could afford. So it was not a very good laptop. It was very heavy and bulky and I could never really bring it with me when traveling. So I was only able to edit at home, which was really annoying because I am a travel blogger, I am often on the go and the new laptop I got looks like this. It's a HP Envy laptop, but I put the specs a bit higher up. Yeah, it's a two-in-one laptop. I love it because you can do this with it and you can basically use it as a tablet. And yeah, it is very small and light. So it is perfect for my needs and editing for the past month has been so much more fun. I also bought this laptop sleeve when I bought the laptop and this one has a bit of cushioning in it. So it's a bit more safe to bring my laptop safely secured inside this laptop sleeve. And when I bought the laptop sleeve, I also got this small accessory bag and in here I basically keep my hard drives and the laptop charger and those kind of things. So yeah, let's put that in the bag. I also have this other little black bag and in here I'm putting all my chargers. I already have my camera charger here. I still need to put my vlog charger and my phone charger in here, but I still need to charge up some things. So I'm gonna do that a bit later. I am also bringing myself a book. When I am gone, it will also be Valentine's Day. So I thought reading a book called Everything I Know About Love is very fitting. I am only bringing one book this time with me because while I am there, I would really like to buy some Finnish books from Finnish authors to bring with me as I obviously can't really buy them here. I'm also bringing my photography camera. Unfortunately, I can't really fit several lenses and to save space, I decided to take my most compact lens with me, which is a 50 mil. And yeah, that's pretty much everything that I'm putting in my backpack. It's still almost half empty actually, which is good because I probably will realize in the last minute that I have forgotten something. So then I can still add it in here. I am also bringing a small shoulder bag where to keep all my valuables. I am bringing this Marimekko bag, which is this yeah, famous Finnish designer brand. And in here I basically have all my valuables, uh, hairbrush, passport. I will put this little vlog camera in here, my phone. And I also have things like a mirror and a hair tie. I have now everything ready and packed. I have now arrived to Schiphol Airport. Let's go and check out from which terminal my plane is leaving from. My flight leaves at 8.30 and I'm here now and it's 6 o'clock so I have more than two hours time. But yeah, let's see. Um, Helsinki, terminal number one. So that's this way. And luckily as I only have hand luggage and I've already checked in online, I can go straight to the security control. I 
have managed to get through security. To be honest, I was slightly worried that the mustard or cookie spread thing would be counted as a liquid, but they were accepted. Although they did put the cookie stuff in some weird machine, to check it. Not sure what they checked. I've never seen such a machine before. Oh, I love the Schiphol Airport. I think it's a really nice one. My plan is now... Ooh, a bookshop. No, no, I shouldn't buy books now. <laughs> I have too much stuff already and I want to buy books in Finland. We are here. myself a drink and they have this perfect <laughs> anti-social seat where you can sit and have your drink right next to the Starbucks this is just what I needed some privacy <laughs> and a place where to have my drink I got myself an iced tea from Starbucks shake it and this time they wrote my name as Jan Nioka hmm I have heard somewhere that in Starbucks they write your name wrong on purpose so that you would take a picture of it and share it and it's like a marketing trick. I don't know if it's true though, I think I saw that on TikTok or something. But it would make sense because how many Jan Niokas have you met during your life? <laughs> and I'm really sorry if there's someone named Jan Nioka watching this video <laughs> right now. <laughs> But yeah, I must say it feels really weird to fly now to Finland after not being there for a year. I decided not to go last summer. The thing is that visiting Finland and my family and friends is of course really lovely and stuff, but it doesn't really feel like vacation because it is always very hectic. I am always running from one place to another, trying to meet as many people as possible and then I don't really have any time to do stuff that I want to do myself. I know it's a bit up to me as well. I could just say no to people and try and yeah, keep it to the minimal, but then I always feel bad if I have to say no to someone. And then people also tend to get their feelings hurt if I say I don't want to meet up with them. Um, it is lovely to go there, but also a very tiring trip. Usually <laughs> when I come back home from Finland, I feel like I would need a second week of vacation just to recharge from my Finland visit. So yeah, it is fun, but I am trying to mentally prepare for a very, very busy week. <laughs> but still, I am of course very excited for it. My flight is not landing until quite late. My mom is coming to pick me up. And yeah, tonight I'm probably not doing anything special because it will be past midnight by the time I arrive there. I just love the atmosphere of airports. And today it is really nice and calm here. There's not much people at all. Like you saw the lines, the security, it said zero to five minutes. I could pretty much walk straight up to the security checkpoint. So that was really nice. It went really fast. I guess I could have come here later, but I don't know. I kind of like the atmosphere at the airport and I don't mind relaxing here for a little bit. And it's nicer to do it this way because now I don't need to stress that what if there is a long line and so on, I can just take my time, have a drink, walk around, do that kind of stuff, so. I have arrived to my gate, but it is so weird to hear Finnish being spoken around me. Yeah, when I'm in the Netherlands, if I hear someone speak Finnish, I'm like, immediately <laughs> I hear them and notice it. And now it's like, yeah, everyone's speaking Finnish around me, so it feels really weird. Not too long until the boarding will start. On the plane now. Information. You can claim your baggage at the baggage carousel and follow the signs to get there. 
I have landed. I'm really excited to be here actually. It is now seven minutes past midnight and yeah, my mom is coming to pick me up. So I'm gonna hurry because she's probably waiting for me. reunited with my mom <laughs> there's snow I haven't seen proper snow in super long well yeah since a year when I was here the last time but let's get going now arrived to my mom's place and as it is quite late it's almost 1 a.m at the moment so i'm gonna end this vlog here and start filming my next vlog which is a vlog from finland surprise surprise so please look forward to that it's time for me to go and brush my teeth and my face and go to bed and tomorrow i'll have my first full day here in finland thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye <laughs>